Hello everyone and welcome back. Alright, well, I have this Russ one here that uh, Chris Aaron sent me. And Chris, thank you very much for this lock. And it is pinned by one of my favorite lock makers, Checkmaster30, W for winning. It's got the key mummy. But we will see if we can get into this lock and I will open it up for us. And I'm going to use this tensor wrench. We'll go top of the keyway. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to use this gem here that Trickmaster made and sent me. And thank you for uh, this um, pick, Trickmaster. I really appreciate that. Actually, let me zoom this in. Get a better look. Sorry about that. And I think I will focus this on the lock this time so we don't come out of focus and focus on my thumb again or something. Alright, let's see what he has in here. Okay, I think this is pin 5. I'm not sure if this is 5 or 6 pins. I got a click from him. I think maybe it might be six because I think I'm on six now. Okay, I got a click from six. I do have a little turn on the core, so I got a little bit of a false set here. Got some counter here, I think off of two. A little click from him. A little click from one. Counter right here and one. Oh, nice deep fall set off of one. Got a nice, really deep fall set. Look at that fall set. That is really deep. I mean, this lock should be here and it's way over there. I love playing with locks with deep fall sets. I'm getting some counter right here on four, I believe. Oh, we're open on four. Awesome. Sweet. All right. Well, let's um, let's take a peek and uh, see what Trickmaster has in this lock for us. Bring it down here. Let me zoom this out for us. Grab my pinning tray, and I'm going to unmummy this key because, like I said, I think I'm going to start unmummying them because um. Well, because some of these lock makers are making their own keys, and I'm not sure, he might have actually made this one up a little bit himself. But that's the bidding on the key. Pretty decent bidding, not too bad. Alright, and so we got it open. Let's see how the key works. A little bit of hang up there, but it works fine. Alright, let's get this lock open. I love these kind of locks with a really default set. They are fun to pick. Actually, for a trick master, I'm actually surprised I got into it that quickly. Usually it takes me a little bit longer to get in his locks, that's for sure. six pins and this key is oh there we go oh, so we have a pin and pin right here in two as we can see I'm gonna just put that down now and back this up a little bit for us I don't know if there's any more pin and pins in here get this key out 
Yeah, everything had to be picked, and number six is kind of close to the shear line, but not really too close. And he's got, well, he's got some work here. He's got threading in one, two, three, some really deep counter milling in four, and possible some threading at the bottom of that. I'll see that when I get the key pin out, and he's got threading in five. All right, let's see what else he's got in this lock. Got my tweezers here. A very sharp serrated pin here. And number two is that pin and pin. Three, we have a serrated spool type. Or we have a serrated kind of a T-pin type. Five, we have a serrated. And six, we have kind of a spool type. A little step-down spool, I believe. Yep. All right. Like I said, he's got some... Um, counter milling and some threading I believe in uh, four not just not just counter milling I think he's got some threading down there too all right well, let's see what he's got up here and I used the wrong follower I forgot these rust ones I just I just got done um, telling JP about these rust ones they need uh, the bigger follower and um, actually, this one felt tight going in there, so I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, I used the wrong follower for this, but we should be all right. We have a pin and pin, or a—I don't know if that's a pin and pin, but it's definitely. Oh no, that's a spring in there. I thought it was another part to that pin. But it is a double spring. That's a double wound up spring. And number two is um, down there. I don't know if that's stuck in there. Oh, yes it was. That is a pin and pin. Okay, there's part of it. That might be a collar. Got a very weak spring in there, so I'm not going to have to dump that out. Okay, there's the wafer, and there is the round collar, and a very little spring. Alright, well, three. Don't tell me, I think we have another pin and pin. Yes, we do. Check Master is the master at these pin and pins. Another pin and pin. Another small spring. Yeah, these rust ones also take small springs, I noticed too. Otherwise, um, you aren't going to get that key back in. Now let's go this way. I'll go with number six here. We have a very deep spool serrated. That's why we got that deep fall set. We've got it. Very sharp serration on the top of that, kind of a T-pin. All the springs are different so far. We have a serrated, another pin and pin and five. This lock is just all pin and pins. Is that a double spring, or did that other spring come out of? I'm not sure where the heck that spring came out of. I think it came out of five. I mean, and another pin and pin and four. So we are pin and pin in this lot. All pin and pins, except for, well, except for a driver and one. All 
Actually, that's not a pin and pin, that's a drunken spool. It has a wafer and that pin. That's it. Get that spring out of there. That's, that still got me a little baffled with that little spring, unless it was inside of this spring, and it probably was. I bet it was inside of that one. Somehow. But up here... Nothing... Nope, nothing done up here. But yeah, let's take a look at these pins, guys. Because he's got a lot of pin pins here. Um, get my phone to stay down a little bit. All right, this is what we have, guys. We have this very sharp serrated key pin in one, and then we have a pin and pin here in the key pin in two. Um, then we have this kind of a Full serrated type in three. We have a serrated T pin. Oops, sorry, took it out of frame. Kind of a little bit of a T pin on the top of that. Then we have a very serrated pin here in five. Then we have another spool, kind of a um, step down spool type. And then up here, guys, with all the magic is, he's got a little serrated here. Then we have this pin and pin, which had this collar here. That goes in there. And then a wafer on top. I don't know how he made this round ball, but that's pretty cool. And then we have a pin and pin in three and... I think it has a, a little serration there. That That's the catch in... Oh, let me get this to focus a little bit for us. Well, we have that serration. That is in three. Okay, well, that counter milling is in four. So I thought maybe it was to catch that, but it's to catch this um, drunken spool here. A counter milling. I'm not going to try to pick that up, but yeah, there's counter milling at four. It had to be to catch this junket spool here. And then we have, um, well, we have a another pin and pin here in five with a, some serrations on the collar. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't know I was out of focus here. But um, yeah, we have this pin and pin here in five with a serrated collar. And then we have a very deep spool here in six with a very sharp, sharp serration on it. Come on. I get this camera to focus. I don't usually, I haven't had this much trouble with this camera so far. I don't know why it's not focusing for us. Here we go. All right, very deep spool, sharp serration to a T-pin here. And then, um, yeah, the springs down here, we have a double spring here, all coiled up, very short spring in two. Um, copper or brass in three. Same here in four, but a little looser wound. And I think, if I get this to stop rolling on me, I think this, yeah, he had that spring inside there. Just like that. And then um, a steel spring and six. But yeah, awesome lock. I am really surprised I got it open that fast. I had to have gotten lucky or something. I don't know. But it's open. All right. Um, well, Chris, thank you for sending me this lock. And um, Chuck Master, awesome pinning job. Uh, like I said, I think I really got lucky getting this one open that fast. But yeah, guys. Um, well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And yeah, everybody, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right, guys, I just wanted to share this with you real quick because I originally thought this pin and pin came out like this. Um, but when you have a pin and pin like this, and I've already made this mistake once, um, and the pin doesn't go all the way through the collar, it actually comes out of the lock this way. 
So the pin will be down below and the collar will be up top. Unlike this one here, because the pin does stick through the top, that one would go in this way. But I just wanted to clear that up with you. Um, this one here actually goes in the lock this way, just in case, you know, you take apart a lock and, uh, like what happened to me, and it kind of like flung out again. But that's how it's going to go back together. All right, well, thank you guys. Bye.